hello, hello, hello. This is Scrapper Like a Lady. How are you guys doing today? I am doing just okay. Not wonderful, not awesome. I'm gonna wipe some of this oil off. Just okay. Um, I thought I'd come on and tell you guys why I haven't made a video in weeks. And this is the month that my sister passed away. And tomorrow will actually be the day that she died. So it's just been mentally rough on me. And if you were around me, you would know that I was struggling with it. Because like everyone else, we can adapt to our environment and we can, as they say, acquiesce to anything. But if you were a little ghost sitting on my shoulders and you were with me all the times and you knew my moods you would know when my mood was a little lower than normal and today is one of those days Explaining it to my husband does no good, so I never explain it. my deepest feelings to him. And I don't know if it's just because he don't know how to handle, or he doesn't know, no, he don't know, he doesn't know how to handle my hardships or when I'm sad. I just, sometimes his words just don't bring me comfort, you know? And I am pretty good at sucking things up and just letting them blow off. But when you can't change something, you can't make it better, no matter how hard you try, I have a problem with that because I am the type of person that I love resolve. Like, I live for resolve. But I can't resolve this issue. I can't make it better. I, I can't. I can only try to breathe through it and let the days pass by and I, as if my life is normal. But some days it's hard. The last time I had a blow like this, my father had passed away when I was 19. I was sad when my grandmother's both passed away, of course. We're always sad with death, but when you die at an older age, it just doesn't seem fair to be young and to die. It just doesn't seem fair. You know, we're, we're always, well, we always think we're going to live, you know, to an older age. I can't imagine how hard it must be for a mother to lose a child, you know? My mom and Sean were not close. So I don't think my mom, it's as hard as, it, it, it's not hard for her as it would be as if she was close to a child. My mom didn't raise us, so she's not 
as close to us as she would be to say my littler siblings Kenny and Kelly and so on you know um, she's going to be closer to them which is absolutely normal and fine you know of course I don't have a problem with that at all um, the more you spend time with somebody, the closer you're going to be to that person. That's just the way it is. So, but it's still, it's got to be hard knowing this is a person you bore, you know, and they're no longer here. So, I have been watching a lot of K-drama movies, you know, just trying to dull my thoughts. By watching other people's lives, love, you know. And it has been helping, I must say. I just go from one to the other. I've always been an insomniac, and now I have a reason for staying up. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think that I'm struggling in a way that a lot of people do. Like, I don't feel totally sad and depressed I go from feeling lonely back there. from feeling lonely and just wanting to have a good conversation a deep conversation with my sister to feeling like, man, she's lucky, you know, it's all over, she's made it, to feeling dread, like, man, I still have to go through that, it's like watching someone swim across a turbulent, you know, lake, and they finally make it to the other side, and you're happy that they made it to the other side because you were like, ooh, 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 and then they make it. You're like, yes, for them. But then you go, oh, oh, now it's my turn. I got to do that. I hope I make it type of thing. That's, that's what I feel like. So I'm sure when that person is swimming, they're trying their hardest, you know, and even in the, um, you know, moments of time, as they're swimming, they're thinking, I got to keep going. I hope I make it. There's a little bit of doubt there. This could be a little scary. Say the water comes and goes over your head and you, you, you know, you drink some of it and it goes down your windpipe and you're, <laughs> you're trying to do this thing, you know, you're coughing through it and it's, it's hard. That's how life can be sometimes, you know, um, where you're in doubt, you're hoping you make it. And hell, sometimes you don't even know if you make it. So here I am. the other side of the lake and I watch my sister swim through her trials and tribulations and now I have to do it and hell we don't know how long this run is going to be you know, I don't know how long my life journey is going to be. Nobody does. That's the secret they say to living a good life is to live it as if you're dying every day. this 
side of the lake, dreading the fact that it's my turn. Whereas before, although the waters are calm sometimes, ripply sometimes, and overwhelming sometimes, if you're crossing the lake and you're tied to somebody that's crossing the lake but they're a little bit ahead of you and you got that security of a rope being tied to you with that backward glance of I got you girl and I love you it makes it a little easier to feel secure knowing that you've got somebody crossing with you But now I feel like she got on the other side and she cut. So, I feel like she cut the ropes. by myself <laughs> I know I can do it by myself. When I was mad at Willie, I called my sister and she talked me through it. She's like, girl, you know he's just crazy. You know he ain't got a lick of sense. <laughs> That's what she would say. Why are you letting that man get to you? was there to get me through. Always. She never disappointed me with her wisdom in my situations, you know. they think are the additions to the disciples, you know, continuing to write books. And it really doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are, but we were talking about different beliefs and we were talking about wine and she's like, well, that's a commandment that we shouldn't drink wine. And I says, no, baby, it is not a commandment to not drink wine. <laughs> In fact, the father told us to drink it for our ailments. If you're feeling ill, you know, yes. Fermented fluids are good. We're supposed to take of the vine. And she's like, yeah, but remember, we have the book of wisdom that tell us not to drink wine and we have modern day technology 
if we've got an ailment, we can go and get medication and they can see what's wrong with us and things are now more updated. And I says, so you're saying that in the word of God where he's the God today and forever changed his mind because of technology. <laughs> and now he's telling us not to drink from the vine when originally he told us to drink from the vine. And we went back and forth and I really think I had the upper hand. Of course, we started laughing and I said, okay, let's just agree to disagree. And she and I, we call it truths like that all the time. You know, we keep it light, pleasant. We love being around each other. And we actually don't argue God's point. We talk God's point through, you know, according to us, right? So... It dawned on me that so many people have different beliefs. And the only one that knows the truth are the ones that have crossed over. Even when I hear people say, I know that I know that I know, I'm thinking, you know nothing. You're a fool. Stop it. How can you tell me you absolutely know? You absolutely feel your religion. You don't know nothing. You ain't been to heaven. You can't be in a crowd of people and say, there's an angel right there and it actually turned out to be an angel. Yeah. So... Sorry for not making videos this month, but I'm sure you fully understand. It's been a difficult month for me. I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna go into the El Tapatio Mexican grocery store and get me my coconut uh, mango drink and um, go home and watch some K-pop. Take my mind off of um, my sad thoughts. Deuces.